Hornets and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. This is part two of assignment number uh, 10. Please be aware this is going to change slightly. So it's now 35 to 37 odds. So there are only two problems involving Euler's method. Please be aware this is a direct result of the book wanting you to use 10 iterations. So I will be going through work that I have already done so that you can see how to do it. I will be following through one piece at a time for number 35 and then number 37. So please be aware of that. Just so you're aware, number 37 is asking you to use uh, Euler's method with 10 iterations so that you can take dy dx is equal to negative 6xy and we are working with our initial condition 0 to 5. We are looking to find f of 1 or y of 1 if you prefer in 10 iterations oops iterations now um, this does take a little bit of time so i do recommend that you take your time as you do it so i have made my chart uh, you'll notice the chart is exactly what i went over in class we have x y dx dy dx dy and our new y. So be aware the new y that we have here is going to go under the y so that we can begin again. So you'll notice I started with my 0. 0 times 5 times negative 6 was 0. I multiplied by 0 0.1 and got 0. When I add the 0 to the 5, I end up getting 5, which begins the new position. We now take 0 0.1 and we multiply by 5 and negative 6 and it gives us negative 3. We multiply by 0 0.1 to get negative 0.3, and we add that negative 0.3 to the 5 to get 4.7, which now goes into our y. We now take 0.2, multiply by 4.7, we multiply by negative 6, and it gives us negative 5.64. Multiplying by the 0.1 gives us negative 0.564, which we add to the 4.7, and we get 4.136. I now put that 4.136 under y. I now once again multiply 0.3 times 4.136 times negative 6, and I get negative 7.4447. Multiplying by 0.1 gives me negative 0.74448 which I now add to the 4.136, and I get 3.39152, which I now put under Y. I now multiply 0.4 by 3.39152, and I multiply also by negative 6. This gives me negative 8.139648, which I multiply by 0.1 and get negative point. 8139648. We now add this value to 3.39152 and we get 2.5775552, which now goes under y. I now multiply the negative 6 by 0.5 times 2.577552. And I get negative 7.732-6652, which I immediately multiply by 0.1 to get negative 0.7732-6656, which I now add to 2.577-5552, and I get 1.8042864. four, which I now write under my Y. I now multiply again, negative 6 times 0 0.6 times 1.8042-8864. This gives me negative 6.4954394104, which I now multiply by 0 0.1 to get negative 0 0.6495439104. I take this value and I add it to 1.8. 0428864, and I get 1.1547 which I now write under my Y. 
I now multiply negative 6 by 0 0.7 times 1.15474473, and I get negative 4.849927864, which I multiply by 0.1 to get negative 0.4849927866. When I now take this value and add it to 1.15474473, I get 0.669751943 which I now write under y I now multiply negative 6 by 0 0.8 by 0 0.669751943 which gives me negative 3.214809329 which I multiply by 0 0.1 this gives me negative point three two one four eight zero nine three two nine which i now add to point six six nine seven five one nine four three six and this gives me point three four eight two seven one zero one zero seven i now write this under my y for my last iteration of euler's method i now multiply negative six times point nine times 0 0.34827101017, and I end up getting negative 1.88660663495, which I now multiply by 0 0.1. This gives me negative 0 0.1880663459. I now add that value to 0.348 two seven one zero one zero seven and I get the answer I seek point one six zero two zero four six six four nine now the whole purpose of this is so that we can now try to find our particular solution this requires us to follow our process for finding a solution once again I have already done this work so that we can identify what y of one really is Let's go through our steps. We write down our dy dx equaling negative 6xy and we separate our variables. I have taken one extra step away and put my integration in front. We cannot do this on the AP test. We can do it for our homework. I end up getting the natural log of absolute value of y equals negative 3e, a negative 3x to the second power plus c, and I exponentiate both sides. As we have seen, e to the c becomes a constant, and we are left with y equals c e to the negative 3x squared. We're now going to plug in the given point 0, 5. Since our x is 0, we end up with e to the 0, which is 1, leaving me with c, and the y is 5, therefore c is equal to 5. I now replace the c with 5 in the original problem from this uh, step right here, and I end up getting y equals 5 e, 5 times e to the negative 3x squared power, allowing me to put in 1 and get approximately 0.2489353. Uh, uh, now, part c is asking us to find the propagated error. To find the propagated error, we take the absolute value of the difference between the two. It does not matter which is first and which is second because of the absolute value. The propagated error will always be a positive value under these conditions. We will see this again in our Calculus BC next year. To find our propagated error, I'm now taking the absolute value of point. 24893535418 and subtracting point 16020466649 and I arrive at the answer for part C of point 0887306769 and that's what we're looking for in number 35 now please remember this is important for us to know so that we can be successful in BC so it's important that you give this a try. If by chance you haven't done this yet, I recommend you turn off the video, you give number 35 a try, and then come back to the video to check your work.
we're now going to go to number 37, where I will follow the same basic process that I did here for number 37. Number 37 is now asking us to work with dy dx equals 2x plus 12 divided by 3y squared minus 4. The value that we are given is 1, 2. We are looking at 10 iterations. in order to find our y or f of 3. All righty, here we go. Now this is a little bit longer. It does require us to be a little bit more careful, but it is using the calculator, thankfully. And here you see my work. So once again, here we go. We're starting with a 1 and a 2. We know that our dx is 0.1, which I have put all the way down so that I filled in this portion of my chart. 1, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, and 2.0. I'm now putting this into my formula, and I end up getting 1.75, which I multiplied by 0.1 to get 0.175. I added the 2 plus 1.175, and I got 2.175, which I now put under y. I now put 1.1 in for the x, right up here. I put in the 2.175, which I'm going to square, multiply by 3, subtract 4. Up top, I have 2.2, which I'm adding 12. I do the division, and I get 1.3923, pardon, 1.39326695. Multiplying by 0.1 becomes 0.1. Three nine three two six 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 nine five, which I now add to two point one seven five, and I get two point three one four three two six six seven, which I now put under y. I now plug in one point two for the x. I put this value in for the y, which I am going to square, multiply by three, and subtract four. Up top, I have two point four, which I'm adding twelve, and I do my division. I end up getting 1.19320 which I multiply by 0.1. This gives me 0 0.1193206301, and I now add that value to 2.3143266767, and I end up getting 2.4336473, which I now write under Y. We now continue with this process over and over again. When I do my division to get dy dx, I ended up getting 1.060436333. Multiplying by the point 0.1 gave me 0 0.10604363333, which I added to the 2.4336473 and I ended up with 2.5396909933, which now becomes my new y. I now plug the 1.4 in for x. I plug this value in for the y, which will be squared, multiplied by 3, subtracted by 4. The top, I'm multiplying. I'm going to end up getting 3.6 plus the 12. I add them together and divide, and I get 0.9641637. 211, which I multiply by 0.1 to get 0 0.09641637211, which I now add to 2.53969-0933, and I get 2.6361073035, which I now write under the Y. I now put in 1.5 for my X. I put in the 2.63610735 in for the y, and I end up getting dy dx equaling 0.89035-6451. Multiplying by the point 0.1 is giving me 0.089035-6451, which I immediately add to my old y of 2.6361073035, 
and I get my new Y value of 2.72514295, which I now put under Y. I now repeat the process again and plug in 1.6 into my X and 2.72514295 for the Y. I end up getting dy dx equaling 0.83154579, which I multiply by 0.1 to end up with 0.083154679, which is now added to the 2.72514295, and I end up with 2.80829 which I write down under my Y. I now take the 1.7, I plug it in for the X, I take 2.80829 I plug that in for my Y value, and dy dx becomes 0.783332129. Multiplying it by the 0.1 gives me the value 0 0.078333212229 which I add to the 2.80829718, and I am left with 2.88663073. This is now my new Y. I now plug in 1.8 into the equation and for the X, and 2.88663073 for the Y. My dy dx becomes 0.74293104.97 multiplying it by the point 1 gives me point 0 0.074293104.97 i now add this value to the 2.88663073 and i end up with 2.960923835 which becomes my new y i now put in 1.9 for the x 2.9609 23835 for my y value and dy dx is 0 0.70848 which I now multiply by the point 1. This gives me 0 0.70848 which I add to the 2.9609 and I arrive at the answer that we are seeking. This answer is 3.03177-2009, and this is my approximate value. Once again, if you have not already done this, I recommend that you turn this video off, you now redo the problem, and then check your work afterward. We are now asked to go on to Part B, where we are finding a particular solution. This will require us to use our calculator in order to factor, so please be aware I have done synthetic division uh, halfway through this, right at the bottom, in order to find my uh, polynomial, and from that polynomial I have only one zero, and that real zero will be three. Here we go. So we start off with our dy dx, and we have to separate our variables. This is going to allow me to have the integration of 3y squared minus y dy equaling the integration of 2x plus 12 dx. When I integrate, I get y cubed minus 4y equaling x squared plus 12x plus c. I now take my value of 1, 2, and I plug it in. I end up getting 0 equals 13 plus c, and therefore negative 13 is equal to c. I now end up putting the 13 in You'll notice my lights went out. I'm very sorry about that, but there's not much I can do. I now take x equals 2, and I plug it in for the x value. I'm going to simplify the entire right side, which will leave me with 15. I then have y cubed minus 4y minus 15 equals 0, which allows me to work with the synthetic division, and the factors that I'm working with are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Only the 3 works, leaving me with y minus 3 times y squared plus 3y plus 5, equaling 0. This is where I get the 3. We now go to our propagated error in C. 
we take the absolute value of 3 minus 3.03177200009, and the propagated error is 0 0.03177209. I'm going to stop this video at this time so that I can uh, turn my lights back on and begin again. So this is part two, and I will be doing part three in but a moment. This gives you the opportunity to go through and give numbers 45, 51, uh, pardon, 45, 53, and 61 a try. Alrighty, they will be done now in part three of this video. Thank you very much, and remember, if you have found this helpful, please remember to click like, and if you have helpful suggestions that you think would make me um, do a better job on these, please make sure you give your suggestions. Once again, I am sorry that I had to go through all of that in that way, but it was just too much for me to try to do a video on without it having done already. Thank you very much. Please be well and be safe, and I hope you watch part three next. Have a great day and take care. Bye-bye, Hornet.